Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my Let's Play of Europa Universal's free Divine Wind as Great Britain where we are finishing off bringing back France fully under our control and it feels good, it does Oh, actually, we, we're not at the moment because we, we've got a stupid peace treaty. As if there can be any peace between Britain and France. Ah, but anyway, let's get these uh, these uh, timer going. And we have magistrates again, so let's pump them in here. 100%. Do we actually need anyone? I don't think we do. Out of curiosity, do we have... This is the one I want. Uh, anywhere near decent enough, naval or don't, so there's no point trying to make one of them. It's going to have to be a normally type 1. Legitimacy is not a problem for us. Uh, let's get an inflation reduction, guys. Someone will buy him off the market. Let's speed up. Rebellion, but shouldn't be a problem. But I can't. Was one. Good deal with them. Then, do laps and start patrolling. I don't know if that was the best patrolling route ever, but still, let's go. The French are having to deal with a lot of rebels, which is actually, I guess, good for me. But 20,000 men already. And that's not even all of them. They have this one guy here as well. I still have more than 20,000. I have 23,000 over here and another 10,000 men to call up before we start the war. The people are sampling new religions. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't particularly want heresy. I don't want to gain narrow-mindedness either. Why don't I gain innovative for letting them do this? Uh, let's see, where are we on the sliders? And sliders are in here. We're trying to get to the technology costs so that we can actually get down, so uh, we'll, we'll let them. I don't want to. <laughs> I would prefer not to do anything. What are they doing here? Incompetent diploma. Gain infamy. We are losing that vote. We're not... Got gaining any due to yeah we're not gaining anything due to anything so yeah that's good we're getting it down slow oh that's no, war exhaustion where the hell am I meant to be looking it's just here and it that's only where it tells me yeah and yearly change is minus point six is that all for crying out loud I thought we'd be getting more than that well, let's continue on. Colonization failed. Send again, it shouldn't be a problem too much anyway. The colony was damaged. Whoa! Badly damaged. But this is what I get. I pay the extra to try and get that head start and an extra two and a half thousand men. Oh, and we're going bankrupt in December. We're losing 120 a year. I thought we was only losing like a little bit. Uh, let's take this up to where... That's about half what we was losing in inflation, but that should be more than enough to save us, I think. You were actually gaining now this year. Ooh, Epirus has declared its independence. In Frace. It's a good province. I want it. <laughs> oh, I want it. Who has cause on it? Byzantium and Thrace, that's all. I can't. Uh, no, I can't. Too much um, in for me. I need to. Uh, more rebellions. Thankfully, this guy seems to be dealing with it even with his cut wages. Gonna get up here to these guys as well. Can now build shipyards, that's useless useless to us because we don't have the money. More bad people. 
look at the blob that Spain is. Say I was being told at the start of this that I believe that some people was believing that I was going to just walk away with it. I think I've proved I'm incompetent enough not to do that. <laughs> um, I would hope that Spain or the HRE, either of them, would be a nice big blob to try and kill me. Oh, Sweden's needs this to form Scandinavia. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Huh. They're one province away. Sweden, be my friend. I will help you take that to form Scandinavia. It even has a core on it. Let's see, Denmark has a core of that. If I go to war with the Holy Roman Empire, I'm releasing Denmark and sacrificing them to Sweden. Or I may even take it in the war, get all the infamy myself, and sell it directly to Sweden. I want to see Scandinavia form. I mean, they've basically done it. They're just not getting the bonus from it. Uh, I think it's in the mods, uh, Death and Taxes and uh, Mio Mio. But I can never say its name, uh, but it's the one that I tend to prefer to play if I play a mod. Um, <laughs> so it's just good that I don't know its name. Uh, but I think they have what they call variable claims, so you need to own, like... 90% of the provinces that are called Scandinavia instead of owning the specific ones, which I definitely prefer that idea, but unfortunately not in the vanilla game. Good, we're winning there as well. They're dealing with their rebels a lot better than what I've ever done. Uh, let's see, we have until August of next year, then we can declare war on them again. So, that means to me, we get our troops ready to deal with such a situation where we can declare war. And we will be pulling Brittany in because, send again, we will be pulling Brittany in because I believe that they can help in this war. You had twice as many troops. Where are they all gone? Are you off to the new world, Brittany? Don't go to the new world. It's going to make it a pain to annex you. You're going after this next war with France. Good. We're dealing with that there. Let's play on. Plenty of diplomats, but I'm not too fussed about them. Yes, in the air again, that should be fine. Hmm. Gain a core province of Delphine. That's nice. Might not rebel as much now. Look at all these cores that people have on Delphine, though. It's ridiculous. I'm just glad the ones that we owned as England. You know, don't have English cars on. Well, some do. But this was an English car. So I don't get why, when I change my tag, it doesn't have English cars on it. Because as far as I'm concerned, this was English land at the start of the game. But they only appear in, like, England itself. Play on, it's February, Jan January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. We've got a good couple of months left. I can, I, I, I know my months, I can say them. That's <laughs> uh, not something I should be boasting about, but I can. Oh, because I moved the ship, you can't get there. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Come to Wessex, please. Stop hunting rebels. See, when I order you to do it, why don't you do it? You do it when you hunt rebels by yourself. Colony fail. I might have to kill the people. Usually I can get away with it, but I think I usually have better, less infamy. I usually have more money. And what's the chances? It's 30 at 9%. I and mean, then once you get on there, that should be even more. It's affected by a production efficiency, current ruler, and aggressive natives, which is basically neg negating all of what we have. I thought if you had a colony next to it, it gave you an increase as well. 
Hmm. That might just be once you've already got it slightly founded. But I'm going to keep going down the route that we were trying it. That sounds good to me. We're still gaining money each year. Which I don't like. I'd rather be just scraping by. But that means to me I can turn my military back up when we want to go to war. Which actually... We'll turn it up now so that the morale can all get properly sorted. And we'll pull the other English troops over onto the land. Main, oh, onto the continent. The mainland is still Great Britain. Yeah, this is just the continent. And you go to here. You come down to Nerve. Fox and Maximus, Nepal, and Joe Lee should all be hopefully sorted. Bonjour. Alright, change of plans, guys. You come in here. You two, 13, should be enough to take on him, and 10 should be enough to take on this guy. Well, now where are you going, main? Some of you to bury. June, July. So close. A month. Well, Maximus has been put down, thankfully. Let's relieve the battle is gone. Yes, good. Good news, the stability of our realm has gone up and we can declare war. Cytric conquest. They're allied with Venice, I don't care. We will automatically call our allies, which is no one. But then we can call in. I thought we could call in Brittany. Because they're our vessel. No, I have to offer alliance separately, which I will do. Then I'll call him in next turn, then. He's coming to try and kill me. Which we're going to let him. 12th of August, he's definitely going to get there first. Right. I'll head here. 18th, 26th, 21st. Damn, they're going to... So we'll go here instead, 28th, 18th. It's got 10 turns, basically, and we'll come to where you're heading, Rulison, so we'll try and head there as well. Strangely enough, France refuses to let us trade. Uh, we are still 10th of September, ages away from being able to... You were going to get there on the 27th, we're going to get there on the 28th. On the 28th, so we're going to be one turn behind, but we're going to med up at least. You're heading all the way down to Purgatos, so we'll follow. With a larger army, we should be okay. Same here. In fact, I think they've sieged. A trade dispute against France. Our new leader has just popped in. Yes, he's an improvement. Uh, Frederick I of Lancaster. And we have a new heir as well, Frederick William. Which will mean he'll be Frederick William I. Can I call you in it? No, I can't, but one, two, three. No, I can. Call to arms, very likely. Thank you. And go deal with them little ones so I can deal with a big. Don't hunt rebels. Uh, you chase him down. You're gonna get to he's gonna head to Avenger, so actually go there. You need a general. Why have we got generals in you? Uh, recruit two generals because we have two armies. You want the fast one, which is none of them. We'll give you the good one. Now, this is the end of the episode. Damn, that took longer than I thought. But we have started the war as we planned to. Um, the minute France has given us a runaround, to be honest. Uh, they may even actually take Purgatory before we can get there. Uh, but we'll see in the next episode. So, as always, thank you for watching. And goodbye. Uh -huh.